Shook it up. Good morning, lovely people. It is 10.30. It is March 16th, Saturday. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Woohoo! So in Ireland, St. Patrick's Day is a really big deal. You get a bank holiday from it. You go and have a big piss up with your friends and have fun and go to the parade and it's really good fun. But in the UK, obviously not such a big deal because they're not Irish, obviously. So this morning I got up early. I had to drop Lex to the train because he is gone to London for Darren Till's UFC fight. It's a boys night out. They're going to support Darren. So Lex is gone to London for the night for that. So I'm alone. So what do I do when I'm alone? I go get coffee, which I've done. And now I'm at the gym. That's why I'm sat in my car, like a weirdo talking to myself. So hopefully no one from the gym will see me. So I'm about to hit the gym. Um, I've had a bit of a uh, neck strain this week. It's kind of been coming and going. So I was debating whether I should work out today because I woke up with it all stiff again. But I think if I just take it easy, and kind of work around the pain and not aggravate it it should be okay so today is glutes so a bit of booty a bit of shoulders and a bit of triceps so this is my third workout of the week i may do another one i may not i'm just happy that i got three workouts in because you don't need to stress about getting 20 workouts in in a week or training every day you just work for your schedule and do something and the days where I didn't train I still did some cardio I still walked my dogs I still got steps in and was active I may not have weight trained but I was still doing stuff so last weekend you have seen that in my previous video I was in Portugal now I had great intentions of going to Portugal and going to the gym because there was gym access and then when I got there, I realised that I really need to de-stress and just decompress for a weekend, which is fine. It's okay to take some time off the gym. So I did that and I just enjoyed the company of my friends rather than stressing about kind of leaving them for an hour or two to go and train, which is also okay to do that. It's okay to take time for yourself from your friends to go train. You should never feel guilty about exercising. But in this circumstance, I just felt that I should just relax and enjoy myself and take some time away. So I did and it didn't affect me. My weight was up a little bit, but that's normal because I wasn't eating my normal kind of healthy diet. I was eating out and um, I was eating like, let's say two big meals a day that probably had a lot more sodium in them. And then I'll see flights. Flights will affect your weight. You'll get off a flight, the next day, you could be up to five pounds heavier. This is completely normal because your body retains water when you're on a flight. So give it a couple of days, it will come off. And this week, I've actually dropped down to a new low after having a weekend off of tracking, weekend off of training, weekend off of proper cardio. I did loads of steps because we were walking everywhere, but my weight yesterday, dropped down to 123.6 pounds, which is the lowest weigh-in I've had since before Christmas. So I feel really motivated. Right now, I am carb cycling. So that means I am taking in three lower carb days, followed by one high carb day, and then two medium carb days. So I bring it up and down. This is all calculated. I hit my targets. So for three days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I had low carb days. I had my new low weigh-in yesterday on Friday, which was quite unexpected because it was like a three pound drop overnight, which I wasn't expecting. So yesterday I had my high carb day. I hit my targets. I didn't overeat because I have a tendency on a high carb or refeed day to eat too much because it's like my body goes into hunger mode because it's like, yes, food, eat, eat, eat. But yesterday I was really good. I went out for brunch with my friend. I tracked all my food that I had with my brunch, which can be easily done. And I went for a walk. Then when I came home, I made Lex and I a really healthy dinner. We had a fajita bowl, which was like rice and chicken with peppers and cheese and yumminess and we had that and then we went to the cinema had a nice time tracked all my macros and hit them on the button which was great drank plenty of water and today my weight is up a pound which is normal because after a high carb day your body will retain water to try and move those carbs around your body now today i'm back to medium carbs you can easily calculate this you're 
putting yourself in a deficit. So I'm still in a deficit, and maybe on my low carb days you might think, oh, they're, they're very low calories, but they're not really when you look at it over a week. So you are looking at your cardio, your calorie intake, calorie deficit over an entire week. And that way is the best way to kind of average out everything. So you're not stressing on day-to-day -day fluctuations, just like your weight, your intake is like, a weekly average but carb cycling is a great way as well to kind of just push your body a little bit to work a little bit harder and to kind of not confuse it because your body's smarter than you are you can't confuse your body but you can get it used to a certain amount of calories and when it gets used to burning these calories and then suddenly there's a high influx medium influx it kind of doesn't have time to adjust to the new intake so that's why you will see like increases in weight after high carb days but you will also see very effective weight drops when you plateau if you carb cycle so i always find them quite effective when i'm in a plateau which, which i have been over the past couple of weeks but i also find them quite effective mentally because three low days isn't that bad you kind of you're not struggling or anything by the third day you're just kind of like okay i'm on my third low day and then tomorrow i'm having extra carbs so then when your cravings start to set in by day three then you can say okay well now i can have that bagel that i wanted or i can have that ice cream that i've been craving the last day and you get it out of your system and then you go back to your medium and then back into low carbs and this way of cycling just is good for mental and physical progression so right now i haven't eaten yet i've had a coffee and i've had I've had a collagen coffee, I've had a regular coffee, and I've had one of my carrot cake muffins, which I make kind of in bulk at the start of the week, and then I just have one of them in the morning, just to keep me going. So when I get back home after the gym, I'll have my breakfast. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna have yet. I'm torn between oats or bacon, so we'll see. So now we are gonna go train. I hope you enjoy the workout. And then I will do a quick physique update as well, just to show you how I'm looking, to show you how, even though my weight might be a certain weight, I can still look a certain way. And I feel not confident, but I feel like I look good. And um, I think my head will eventually follow with my confidence in my body. I suppose showing people how I look isn't to do with getting compliments or getting critiqued. It's for me to, stay accountable to my followers to show you that regardless of what weight or what shape i'm in i will still show you my physique and how it's looking so i hope you enjoy the video here comes my workout seven six five four three two one you'll never have the sacred stone <laughs> oh this you crazy mother
girls. Hi, Roxy. Are you good girls? Do you keep mommy company? Bailey, stop sniffing your sister's butt. Bailey, you're meant to be a lady. You're meant to be a lady. Don't do that on the camera. People can see you. I'm back into some butt sniffing dogs. Oh, Bailey, that was a bit mean. She also takes Roxy's teddies off her. And uh, I'm gonna have some breakfast and then I'm gonna bring them out for a walk. It's actually a little bit sunny out. So we'll walk them while we have some sunshine and not rain. Isn't that right, Rox? Uh, what are we gonna have for breakfast, Rox? Will we see what muscle food delivered? So I got a big muscle food delivery last night, my monthly muscle food delivery. And I got some turkey bacon. Um, I think I have some regular bacon medallions. And so I have put some of it in the fridge so that I can eat that. But I've got the regular bacon here. So I think I'm gonna have some of that. Maybe some egg whites, also from muscle food. And I put some cheese in my egg whites. Have that with some toast, maybe some mushrooms, since Lex is in here to crap on my mushroom love. And maybe some tomatoes. So I'm gonna make myself a bit of a fry up or a grill up. Do you call it a fry up when it's a cooked breakfast and there's no frying involved? Yeah, so I'm gonna make myself a hot breakfast because I'm kind of craving that. I'm not craving the sweet stuff. And anyway, I have, I got a selection of different protein bars from Muscle Food. So I wanted to try these. So this is the bro to go coconut milk chocolate. I haven't tried this one yet, but I tried the peanut chocolate one. And now it does have quite a sugar alcohol kind of flavor to it, if you know what I mean. But probably one of the nicest bars I've eaten in a while. But like if you're very sensitive to the taste of like the sugar alcohol, because there is quite a lot of polyols in it. 12 grams of polyols and I do try and limit my polyol intake because it can upset your tummy. So these ones are really good. So I'm gonna maybe try the coconut one later. Or I also got the new grenade dark chocolate raspberry. I also want to try the white chocolate peanut butter, but they've already sold out of that. And um, got these, which are really good. I've showed you these before on my channel. Um, they have 3.8 grams of fat and 11 grams of carbs. And they're kind of like a cheesy what's it? You know, those kind of like puffed cheese snacks, but like they're just better macros and they taste really cheesy. And like they're vegan, gluten-free, healthy. So that's kind of like the snacks that I've gotten. And then I also got like my usual meat. That will be the steaks jumping out of the freezer. I, I don't always get a lot of red meat, but I made this beef stroganoff recently and I can use the rump steaks are quite low in fat. They've got good macros. So for 170 grams, which is a whole one of these steaks, it's 6.3 grams of fat and 51 grams of protein. So for steak lovers, these rump steaks are quite nice. You can see the, the nice new packaging as well, which looks a bit spiffy. And also got turkey bacon. Not really a huge fan of turkey bacon, but the lightly smoked ones are pretty yum. And they just have like hella good macros. Like you can eat loads of them. So for one rasher, it's 0.6 grams of fat. And actually is that one rasher? Yeah. And 6.3 grams of protein. So loads of protein in them and no carbs. But I think I'm just gonna have regular bacon and some maybe a protein thing. So I'm gonna bake that up and then bring me wee dogs for a wee walk out in the wee field where they can do some wee wees. Isn't that right, Rox? Roxy, do you have toothache right now? Do you have to go to the dentist, the doggy dentist? Our two dogs are very different in personality. Roxy won't allow you to kind of touch her face or like put your hands in her mouth or anything whereas Bailey I think we were just a lot more tactile with her when she was a puppy which is really good when you, if you get a puppy just try and 
be tactile with them like pull at their legs not to, to hurt them but just get them used to being held and being touched all over their body because you don't want to have a dog that if its tail is pulled or its leg is pulled that they get angry because you want them to be good with people and with kids and all that kind of thing but Roxy is good with being touched but just not she doesn't like you touching her mouth see she's like squirming away from me now but she we can't brush her teeth and we've tried different things and we've gone to the vet before about it because her breath stinks so um I saw some blood on one of her little teddies the other day and I think she might have like bleeding gums so I booked her in to go to the vet next week so she'll have to have some kind of sedation so that they can examine her little teeth and see if anything needs to be done because she's six now she's a big girl aren't you Rox you big girl you're six six and a half yeah she's starting to get more gray around her mouth as well you good girl yeah she'll always be my little baby she was my firstborn yeah oh yeah but she's starting being a bit fussy with her food um because she also has toothache and it probably is a little bit sore for her to eat so we're gonna get that sorted next week. Look after your dogs. Breakfast is served and here is what I am eating for my breakfast. We have three bacon medallions. We have some mushrooms that I just sprayed in some fry like garlic spray and seasoned with salt, pepper and some balsamic vinegar. We have a slice of black pudding because I love black pudding and as it's high carb day because there's carbs in black pudding, I'm going to add that in today. Uh, I've got some tomatoes, so they're salt, pepper, same as the mushrooms, and I just grilled them all up. And then we've got egg whites with some eat lean cheese in because it just makes it extra tasty. And then we have a protein thin underneath that I have some marmite on because I love marmite. So pretty much I love everything on this plate. And I'm going to devour it now. I sat down looking at Instagram and started getting like really sleepy you know those afternoon kind of nap time vibes but I'm determined not to have a nap because I'm an adult and I don't need an afternoon nap so I'm having a coffee to wake myself up a bit and then I am going to bring said dogs on their promised walk Roxy will we go on a walk in a bit yeah they're really doubting my efforts right now, but I promise I will bring them because I promised I'm here So now I have to so I'm in from a very windy walk Not windy in the toot toot Category but windy as in yeah rubbish flying everywhere from my recycling bin So I'm in from that as I said, I was feeling a bit sleepy, but I try to aim to get 10,000 steps a day in and the dogs benefit from that because they get two walks a day. So some days I may do 12,000 steps when I maybe do cardio or I go for an additional walk around town, something like that. And then other days I might only do 8,000 steps when I simply just walk the dogs and I'm kind of sat a lot at home. But today I'm gonna to do some cardio as well because I am feeling quite lethargic and I think I could give into it and just kind of be lazy and watch some movies because it's Saturday and it's a chill out day but I don't want to be like that I want to kind of get energized because the energy I put out is kind of almost like fueling me right now and I feel like if I give in to the tiredness I'm feeling because I don't think it's actual physical tiredness I think it's more just being slightly emotionally drained and I think the only way to overcome that when you're feeling that way is kind of move yourself and get up and do stuff so that's what I'm gonna do rather than sit and 
wallow. Now to do some laundry, because I have loads of laundry to do. I want to clean the house while Lex is away, while I have it to myself. Do a lot of like domestic chores, because that actually kind of makes me feel quite satisfied as well sad as it is but i love a clean kitchen and i love getting into like freshly made bed things like that so do what makes you feel good even if it's just a simple thing like yeah putting fresh bedding on your bed and washing your hair and making it look nice as opposed to a bird's nest which mine is right now my afternoon snacks include coffee with six ml of cream We've got two party rings that have already been eaten <laughs> They're not just yours, Lex. And one of the grenade raspberry dark chocolate bars. I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about this because I'm not a huge fan of fruit with chocolate. Like I don't like chocolate orange. Don't really like fruit flavored chocolate. To give you a taste test of this. Ooh, it's all knobbly, so I don't know if you can see that. Mmm, it's good. One of my favourite because, as I said, not really a fan of fruit flavoured chocolate, but texture is good, dark chocolate good, and these bits, I don't know what they are, whether they're like freeze dried raspberries or something, but, and there's kind of like a layer, a thin layer of like a raspberry coolie. Slightly has the flavour of a Turkish Delight bar, very similar to a Turkish Delight bar actually. On my own personal preference of flavours, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. So it's not crap, and if you like fruit flavoured bars, you'll really like it. But because I'm not a fan of fruit flavoured, it would not be my favourite. But, would not eat it. I really wish I had the white chocolate peanut. To compare with because i know all of that because i love anything nut flavored hazelnuts almonds peanuts anything like that i love the flavor of but that's just down to my personal preference texture is good though doesn't have a strong polyol taste not sure if it's worth the fats because there's 10 grams of fat in it since i haven't tasted the white chocolate peanut i'm not able to say definitively which is my favorite grenade bar but i think Right now, my favourite one out of what I've tasted is the chocolate chip cookie dough one. That is like number one, definitely. That's my favourite. But I think when I taste the white chocolate one, that might change. Just gonna have my coffee, continue with chores, because it's chore Saturday. So I've just done 200 calories of cardio. That's why I'm slightly naked and sweaty. My hair is tied up with a pen and I'm feeding the dogs because it's feeding time at the zoo and I'm going to have something to eat. Where are my snacks? This is what I like. These little handy chicken fillets. So I'll have one of these and then I'll walk the dogs. So right now I'm at almost 12,000 steps already. I'm going to go out and walk the dogs. It's not going to be a crazy long walk because it's super wet out there. So enough just to get them to do the business, which Bailey tends to refuse to do, and prefers to hold it in for her back garden. And then I'm going to have dinner. I have some of the muscle food peri peri chicken skewers, so I'm going to skewer them up with some vegetables, have some butternut squash swaffles, and maybe make a Greek salad for with it because health. And then that's me done for the evening. I'm really tired. Lex is in here, so I'm going to use it as an opportunity. Just preheating the oven. I'm going to use this as an opportunity while he's away to get an early night because Lex stays up late. We stay up late together watching like sitcoms. And yeah, it's good to get an early night. Feel rested, rejuvenated for tomorrow, which is Sunday, which is not my day of rest. Even though I've done cleaning and laundry and stuff today. Tomorrow, I will continue on my spring clean fling thing. So, it was pretty rainy on that walk. So now I'm looking extra dishevelled. I didn't know my bra I wore a coat, but I'm in a hood and I still look like this. Uh, the dogs are eating biscuits because the two of them pooped, yay! So they both get treats. Uh, yes, bribery. Bribery is the way to get your dogs to poop. I'm not sure if they understand the concept of bribery, but that's what I just did. So I'm gonna get on with making my chicken skewers. So we have muscle food, marinated, peri-peri, so a little bit spicy. Uh, I'm gonna have these. 
And I'm going to put some courgette, some peppers that uh, have already been half used. Um, got these squaffles. You can get them from Sainsbury's, Asda. Um, I find them really handy and they full of fibre, full of goodness. So for a whole serving, it's 3.5 grams of fat, 20 grams of carbs, and um, 2 point, or 3 grams of protein. Minimal protein, but yeah. Fibre is um, 4 grams, so that's good for a whole. It's meant to be two servings, but I'm going to eat the whole thing. And then we're going to make a nice salad. So I've got cucumber, I've got spring onion, or scallion, um, and I've got some baby tomatoes. And what you do is you chop them up with some light Greek cheese, salad cheese, and add in some Greek yogurt and some lime, pepper, salt. You got a delicious salad. So there's some ideas for what you could be cooking up in the kitchen. That's good and wholesome, not processed. Good for all the family. No one will know the difference. Don't worry. You can make stuff for your kids. They won't know that it's healthy. I promise. I have the oven preheating and I have the butternut squash with some of the fry light garlic spray and then I put this paprika pepper season all on it and it just makes it super yummy. They usually take about 30 minutes so while they start cooking I'll get my skewers ready. So my skewers are ready to go and in fact the muscle food skewers are already pre-skewered, I didn't realise that. So I just put the vegetables on my own little skewers. Here we have it, the pre-prepared muscle food chicken peri peri, and I have some veggies with some of the Nando's peri peri to keep the theme going, and some of the fry light, and a little bit of pepper. And they're just gonna be thrown in the oven with my butternut squash. So this is my little side salad. As I said, I have cucumber, spring onion, and tomato in there. I also added in some of this light appetina kind of salad cheese. We've got 50 grams of the non-fat Greek yogurt, which you can get from any supermarket. And then we've got some apple cider vinegar and some lemon juice, salt and pepper. It just makes a really nice side dish to any meal. So dinner is ready and it looks like an absolute feast to be honest, but I do like a lot of food on my plate. So we have our butternut squaffles, nicely charred. I have my kebabs of veggies. I've got my chicken kebabs, all peri peri flavor. And then we have our side salad. So this, my friends, is dinner. So it is the final meal of the day and I fancied something chocolatey because after dinner I usually like a little bit of dessert. So I have one of my chocolate mug cakes. The recipe is up on my cooking channel and it's super easy, it takes two minutes. And then I also have some strawberries because help. It is 9.30 p.m. I've had a can of Pepsi Max while watching some trashy TV and now I'm gonna put the dogs to bed, go to bed myself, I'm gonna have an early night. I have, I'm reading a really funny Irish book right now um, called The Importance of Being Ashling and um, it's very good. If you're Irish, you'll love it. And um, I'm gonna read that, go to sleep. Then tomorrow is another day and it's Sunday fun day. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did, Give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner. Talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy them all the parents. Ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would cloudy, and we would dance. And we would throw up all them hands until they turn. Short to be an ass